It is finally time for the golden potato and the newly found red potato to shine. Hey there, it's Teresa of Erised. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for all things cozy. I have some very, very exciting things coming in the new future, so please make sure to check out all of my socials linked down below. Today we will finally be using both the golden yellow and red potatoes to hopefully finally get us a step closer to these mysteries getting solved. Let's first work on our golden potato. Grab it from storage and make sure you have it in your inventory. We're going to investigate first in Merlin's house. With this new update, there is now an open book on the table with a picture of a potato. Next, we are heading to the mystical cave on Dazzle Beach. Go as far down the path until we find a piece of stone with a diamond shape cut out on it. When you approach, you will see three question marks and it will give you the option to interact with the stone. What we're going to do is place the golden potato in the slot and watch how it oh so mysteriously turns into a carrot. Don't worry, we're not done yet. Next, we are headed to the ice caverns where Elsa lives. On the table in the ice cave, there is another stone with the diamond etched on it. We will interact with this stone as well and place the carrot to receive a crab in return. This may seem ridiculous, but please stay with me. I promise this is truly what we should be doing. Next, on our little scavenger hunt throughout the valley, we are headed to the infamous Dream Castle. We are popping all the way up to the top of the stairs near the fountain, and for the third time, we will see a stone with a diamond on it. We will once again interact with it and the crab is going to turn into a night thorn. Lastly, we are going to head back to Merlin's house to the book and it will magically turn the night thorn into a potion that is named the power of the sun to bring warmth to something gone cold. We at this point don't know what else to do with the potato potion, but I'm ready to use it and it honestly seems like it might be needed in the frosted heights or to help the valley transfer from winter into spring. Next, we are going to move on to the red potato. Honestly, I picked it up randomly one day while completing a quest and kind of forgot about it until today. If you haven't found it yet, it is inside of Remy's house where you will have the option to interact with a cabinet. Grab your potato and let's get into it. This potato is being used within a recipe. What we're going to do is cook together the red potato, slush ice, lobster, raspberry, and a chili pepper. When cooked all together, we have icy red stew. Yuck. Yeah, this doesn't sound appetizing. Next up, we're going to head to the Ratatouille realm and we'll serve this in the hatch and hopefully something will be given to us in return. And what do you know, we received a red potion that states it will bring the spice of life back to something gone lifeless. If I had to guess, this will be something to help a new valley villager join our valleys. So uh, back to my storage, these two potions go, but make sure to subscribe as I will be updating everyone on what to do with these potions, hopefully in the next Disney Dreamlight Valley update. Thank you so much for watching. This is Teresa signing off. Bye.